There's nothing worse than trying to produce a track on a PC that feels like it's gonna explode. No need to panic. There's some settings you can tweak to make FL Studio feel smooth again. Step 1. Using the correct driver. This is the most important one. Go to the options menu on top and click on audio settings. In here, you can choose the audio driver FL Studio uses. This driver is basically the connection between your audio and your hardware. From this drop-down menu, choose an FL Studio ASIO driver. If you're using an audio interface, you'll find it in this list as well. Step number two, adjusting the buffer length. This one's also super important for slow PCs. Click the buffer length settings and in here, you can try 1024 or even 284. This will add a small latency between the actions that take place in FL Studio. This can be annoying if you're playing live, but if you're just producing, this will be a lifesaver. By increasing the buffer length, you're giving FL Studio more time to process all your sounds that will prevent it from lagging. Now, step number three, optimizing your CPU settings. For some of you, this will already be enabled, but if it isn't, make sure the multi-threaded generator processing and mixer processing are both enabled. This allows FL Studio to use multiple cores of your CPU. Most CPUs nowadays have at least four cores and you want to use them all. Step four, enable smart disable in here. This will simply turn off unused plugins in the background so that the plugins you're actually using have access to full power. Amazing. Now, real quick, in the description, you will find a link to a free FL Studio Vault from Mixlead with more than 300 FL Studio tips. It's searchable, so you can find whatever you need in no time. It's really useful to have it open while you're producing. It's time for step number five. Set the Windows Power Plan to high performance. To do that, go to your Windows settings. Then type in Power Plan in the search bar. Click on Choose a Power Plan. Then in here, make sure the High Performance Plan is enabled. This allows your computer to use more power and therefore have a better performance. You might see an increase in your electricity bill slightly. No, just kidding, it won't do that much. Step six, if you're using old hard drives in your computer and don't wanna upgrade to an SSD, try buying an external SSD and put your projects and samples on there. That way they will load so much faster in FL Studio. You'll thank me later. Step number seven, consolidating tracks by rendering them to an audio file. Right click your track in the playlist and choose consolidate, then choose from track start. Now it will create a WAV or MP3 for you so that FL Studio doesn't have to load these MIDI notes anymore. This will take away a lot of stress from your computer. Step 7. Sample heavy VSTs and create your own instrument. To do that, right click the instrument in the channel rack and choose create direct wave instrument. Then this panel will pop up. In here you can choose the range of notes that direct wave will sample by adjusting the low note and the high note. Then in keys per zone you can choose the amount of keys that are going to be rendered. All of these blue keys will be sampled and the others will be pitched up or down by a fell. So the higher this number is, the smaller the size your direct wave instrument will be. When you're ready, click on start. Let FL Studio do its thing and then in the channel rack you can see a brand new instrument. That is your sampled one. This is also super useful if you're sending your project to a friend who doesn't have the VST you're using. Next you want to learn these 15 FL Studio tricks everyone needs to know. Thank you guys so much for watching.